Hello everyone, my name is Michael and welcome to another episode in this discord.py tutorial series. In this episode, we will see how we can deploy our bot in Heroku, which is a cloud hosting provider. And if we go on pricing, you will see it's actually free. So they have a free plan and it provides you with 550 to 1000 Dino hours per month. Now Dino hours is like normal hours. So basically it tells you how many hours it lets you run the script and 550 hours per month, as you will see, that's not enough. So if we do that with 31 days, that's only 70 hours per day. If we do 1000 hours, as you will see, that's way more than 24 hours we need. Now to activate the 1000 Dino hours per month, you need to enter a credit card. Now, another thing I want to mention is if you have multiple scripts, then you have to do that with how, how many scripts you have. So you have two scripts, you will see you do not have enough hours unless you want to turn it off. So for certain hours and then activate it back again, but, but that's really not worth it and you can go with hobby or something else if you want to run multiple scripts but yeah as i said in this episode we will see how we can host our python script so it's the script we created in the previous episodes and if you haven't watched the previous episodes already you can click up here somewhere up here and i'll have my playlist and you can go ahead and watch them all before you watch this episode, which will probably be the last. But if you have any other ideas or questions, I can make multiple videos in this series in the future. So yeah, the first thing I would like to do before we go on Heroku, there's some things we want to add to our script. So the, actually, we don't have to add some stuff in our script specifically. We have to add them in the folder and we will basically deploy the folder to Heroku with this Python file and with some other files it's necessary to run. So the first thing I would like to do is create our requirements .txt file and make sure you spell requirements exactly like that, so correctly, otherwise it will not work. And on our requirements we want to specify the packages we are using on our script. So if you are using more packages than just Discord, then you have to add them as well. Now, in my case, I'll just be using discord.py. So I'll just copy the name of it and use it here. And if you want to use a specific version, what you can do is do this and then specify the version. So 2 or 2.3, etc, etc. Now I will not be using a specific version, so instead I will download the latest version. Then again, if you have multiple of those, just do enter and then just enter the other packages you are using. For example, if you are using NumPy, you will do that. And if you are using Pickle, that and etc, etc. Then the next file we want to create is proc file. And proc file is necessary for Heroku, so it knows how to run your script. So here we will specify our worker, so worker equals to. And then here we want to specify, and basically on our worker, we will specify the command we usually run locally to run our script. So what we are usually doing is Python, and then the name of our file, which is main.py. Now, if, if you have a different file name or if you have a different method of running your script, then you can change this command with whatever you like. So now go back on Heroku and sign up with an account. And again, make sure you add a credit card if you want your bot to run 24 seven. And after you sign up, you should be redirected to a similar page as this one right here. But there, there should but there should be no apps here. If that's the case, what you want to do now is click this button right here. So we want to create a new application and then we will say create new app. 
then we want to give our upper name so let's do michael the bot and it says this name must start with lowercase so let's do like that then we want to choose a region now this doesn't really matter but i'll leave it to united states so basically it has to be closer to the server that is running your discord server but usually it's united states so i'll just leave it to that and then create app now before we push the code to heroku i would like to go on settings so the first thing we want to add is a build pack so we will do add build pack and then we want to add a build pack called heroku-python so basically we want to install python to our application so we will do save changes and for example if you have another app in java or ruby then you would select ruby or java so let's do save changes and that's basically we don't have to do anything else now another thing i would like to show you is in case you want your bot to go offline but without deleting your application then you can go on settings scroll down and then go to maintenance mode and then you can turn your bot maintenance mode to on just in case you need it so now let's go ahead and deploy our code so we'll go on deploy tab by the way i want to mention right now so first june 2022 github method doesn't work with heroku and they are trying to solve the issue i think but not sure why it doesn't work but if you try to use github it will not work so yeah let's continue so we will be using heroku git so the first thing you will want to do is download heroku cli and then if you have a mac os you will run this command if you have windows you will download the windows installer and you can scroll down and see other machines what you can do in my case i'll use this command so i will open terminal and copy paste the command and there we go so after the command finishes what we want to do is run heroku login so we will be using heroku which is installed by running the command we previously run and then we will log in in our terminal so it says press any key to open up the browser and we will be using the browser to log into heroku now if you are already logged in in your browser then you can click login and that's it you don't have to do anything else and there we go so we are logged in now the next thing i want to do is open terminal in our folders and you can do that by doing cd and then the path to your folder next we will go back go to deploy and then follow the steps so first of all we had to do heroku login which we did and then cd to more projects so we have done that already and then we can copy the commands so git init so we will initiate a git then we want to remote connect to the heroku git with the git we created and then we want to deploy our application so git add dot then we will commit and here we will push the code now in case you want to update your script you have to push the new code back into heroku and if it's your second time that you want to deploy your code what you can do is just run those commands again and it will basically update the code now here you might want to change the the title but it doesn't really matter usually we specify here what changes we have done and there we go our bot is deployed now let's go back on our server in discord and the bot should be online in any moment so let's go on resources and as you see as i said before we wanted to create a worker which is created but we have to enable right here so let's go ahead and do that so we have to edit click right here and then confirm 
and now in any moment if we go back there we go the bot is online so let's go ahead and test it so let's run a command dot mic dot and then help and as you see the bot is running correctly so yeah that's it for the video let me know down in the comments if you face any issues so i can help you out with it and you can also join our discord which i'll have down in the description and you can get more help there from all of our discord members and yeah if you enjoyed this video hit that like button also subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos and yeah with that said click right here to see a recommended video by me and yeah see you in the next video